on TV, online and on your smartphone. This is Ticker News. You are watching Ticker today. I'm Aaron Young. A ransomware group is claiming responsibility for a hack on Reddit systems early this year and demanding not just money, but also policy changes as well. Black Hat says it was behind the February phishing attack on Reddit. It claims to have stolen 80 gigabytes of data from Reddit and will release it unless Reddit rolls back its planned API changes. Let's bring in attorney and CEO of AR Media, Andrew Rosso. Andrew, this has to be one of the more interesting ransoms that we've heard of to actually roll back uh, an item that has been brought in. It's not just about money. It's definitely a strange case, Aaron. And what the underlying reason actually is, is it really about the API policy change or is this simply a more sophisticated form of a black hat exploitation? We don't know. I feel that there is a combination of the two here. Why would Reddit be targeted? I think there's two sides here. I think from Reddit's perspective, right, the ability to have massive amounts of information that has been fueled by its users, it, it has created a more intimate, personalized setting where if you are a big tech company to come in and have access to all of that information that goes to consumer demand, consumer experiences, everyday life, right? That's a lot of power. That's a lot of access that maybe we don't want big tech, big businesses to have. But at the same time for users, users have created the very realm and environment that Reddit has become, being able to fuel these changes that we see happen every day. A lot of users angry about Reddit imposing fees. Why is Reddit actually imposing fees in the first place? Is it to try and keep up with Elon Musk and the changes he's making over at Twitter? I think, I think from Reddit's perspective, the idea is to minimize the amount of free access, especially when you are transcending corporate walls and looking at the types of information and exchanges that are happening on Reddit, under its subreddits, and saying, should these companies have access to all of this information, right? Because our users have put this out there, we do maintain it, but why should big tech be given access to it without pain? And it's, it's a form of data scraping on a massive, massive scale. For such a long time, these platforms have survived and thrived because users generate the content, making them platforms. They say they're not responsible for a lot of the content, which is on those platforms. We've heard it from Twitter. We've heard it from Facebook as well. With Reddit, though, they are so reliant on that content that angering those, those people and those long-time engaged users could literally attack their own business plan. And that's what makes this controversy so interesting, but, but still strange, right? Because are their users wrong? I don't think they are. As a Reddit user myself, the amount of information I put out there, right? The amount of information I choose to share with strangers, with the world, that, that is seen by other people. So as a user, spending my time, investing my time in posting, but also to those that moderate, right? Moderating and preserving what happens within any particular subreddit or group, that takes time, it takes energy, and who's getting paid for it? Not the host, not the moderator. So can I just understand, what are the changes that Reddit have actually made that people are angry about with the API? Is it it will allow more companies, outside companies, to use that information, or the opposite? Almost the opposite. I think there's still an element, a hybrid between the two, but on, on one scale, it's the ability to not have access to the information at all. The Reddit culture has been, everybody should have some sort of democratized access to everything going around in our world, pop culture, uh, tech, uh, law. And for this type of policy change that says, we are now going to restrict access or even remove certain access by third-party apps to be able to send these uh, data sets and feeds across platforms, right? That's, that's a huge, huge change. But at the same time, I still feel like there is an element of what information do we really want out there, right? Is and this there are these really moderators as well, Andrew, who have spent thousands of hours unpaid, helping to keep the platform uh, free, but also helping to keep the platform safe. Are we now looking at these phishing kind of spam emails and, and will that start to really take over the platform as these moderators walk away? 
I think it brings an interesting point and brings us back to our, our conversation on AI and what's going on in the world of AI, right? We want to combat misinformation. We want to combat the ability for just anything to be posted without some sort of uh, veracity to it. So I, I do think here that there is a mechanism that, that can work. What that is, I don't know. But I think a, a blanket policy change, even though Reddit's saying that's not what this is, I think a blanket change like this without more context, without other uh, resources to, to be applied here, I think it's extreme. All right, we'll leave it there. Andrew Ross, I really appreciate your time here on Ticker. Thank you so much for having me. And that is a program for now. Head to tickernews.co for more. I'll see you soon.